<laughs> Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that going into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, but it comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. No, oh, it's all good. Self, me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Alright, gotta make sure. Ghost under the light. God, I wish there was a way to switch this to a, like, typed out thing. Alright, the tendrils of the... My hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past, the light flickers. I flicker back. Well, that was cool. An appreciation for the past. That's neat. It's all good. It's still better than my handwriting. I wasn't thinking that at all. But you look, it took you a long time to read. Ah. Wait. Is that... Is that an actual factor? How long it takes me to move from, like, point to point? Also, I liked the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. No, it was as long as it needed to be. I think. I don't know. I'm not an expert. <laughs> Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts? Well, it's not an actual ghost. That was a metaphor. But actually, the story... Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's about the past being replaced with the future. I, you just complained that I you just complained that I took a long time to read it and now you're accusing me of only glancing at it? Uh, own thoughts, feeling, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case perhaps the subject is only symbolically being compared to a ghost lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, <laughs> and soon to be left with nothing. That's a more solemn way of putting it. I hadn't even thought of that. Eh. It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I'd probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Well, considering, as far as I know, mine were 20 words just thrown together because I decided I like these ones. One of which included the word nibble, and a whole bunch of other words that I don't think it fit with. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to keep doing my best for you. I did my best. Ah, me too. Uh, let's just go this way. She's not gonna like it. I can feel it in my bones. If you're not going to take this... Th oh, don't be like that hourglass hair. Harsh. I'm not a writer. Hey, the other two liked it. Maybe it's not very good, but I did put effort into it. What is this? Sorry, I just pulled up this weird silver, like, tassel-like thing off of my chair. 
We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Double exclamation point. Plus that face. Painful to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. We'll get better anyway. I tell you to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Okay. <laughs> cool. People can try, but that's about it. I like that that's the end. <laughs> Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Oftentimes, simplicity is very much... Simplicity has a better chance to work. Some people don't even take my writing seriously. What isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Technically speaking, all you did was state facts. So yeah. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. I don't really think anything hit me hard, but seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. But yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It really brings out the feeling in that last line. So you did. I guess more and went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Oh god. I'm glad you learned something. Don't, didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if she's really proud, I will take that away from her. Did my net connection drop? Why? This is a good poem. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. Uh, it's not that good. Am I the kind of time, or am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? I guess you're right. That's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you really are a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing right in front of you in a club room. Er, well, of course. But I'm not really that into it yet, but it doesn't mean I'll break my promise. Let's see. It's like you said before. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Thanks. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Uh, you were a weak, pathetic fool who couldn't, who could not deal with a quartet of sad puppy dog eyes. And again, you can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing this much means, knowing how much this means to her and all. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here. That'll be my way of thanking you. All right, I will hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. We'll see about that. It's gonna be Shakespearean. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my mind blinds me. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, I don't know where I came up with glow through my mind. It makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead and tell me out of bed, making me rub sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play, or are you trusting me with... I look up... I had a classmate just like this. It was... I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. 
That's hilarious. Sayori. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't just a little... <laughs> oh, yes, you can. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice. How should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really. Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I skip breakfast every day. Most days. I get a little cranky. You cranky? Uh, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hey, hey, hey. This is so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. Next time I won't forget, I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Why? Everyone's judging me, but I don't know. You got literally compliments from everyone except for Natsu, whatever her name is. You know, they're being nice. There's no way my poem can stand up to. Your poem can definitely stand up to Natsu, what? Again, I actually don't know that because I don't know what the final product was. It's a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room. Sayori! Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki, gingerly exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems as they read in tandem. I watch each of their expressions change. Her eyebrows fear a furrow and frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, nothing. She dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. It's fancy. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbol? Oh, get out of here! It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Yeah, man. The way you put it was hilarious, though. Ouch. 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 Which people did, by the way. Say where you liked it. Oh no. Which I haven't yet. Ouch, shut down. And she and he liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Suddenly stands up. Oh. Didn't realize you were so invested in trying to Oh. <laughs> I like the music. Like the beginning bit of that this song that just started a second ago reminded me of Fanjo and Kazooie. That's not that I I that wasn't cool. You're just... Here he stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that you didn't write... Just, you people are being silly. Are you that full of yourself? I... No. I wasn't full of myself. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of me. Ooh. You know, she reminds me of Eco from Final Fantasy IX. Except kind of turned up. You, you, <laughs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't, oh, what? This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting. Suddenly, She started it. 
If you could go there, sniffle writing is more effective. This wouldn't have happened in the first place. For no reason. Harsh. Let the reading not force them after. I like that this actually presents a debate for either side, although, you know, it doesn't really matter which side you fall on here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give this here a save so that I can, uh, I want to see the results of both of these. Or, well, particularly, I want to see what helped, well, I'm going to pick Yuri as the final result, but I want to see what help me Sayori gets. You're making your conflict the center of what's happening. Get out of here. You're also assuming what's... Harsh. I like this acoustic -y song here too. Actually, I think this is probably the best solution. Okay. This... Oh, he's standing behind there with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. She rustles off, like expression on her face, staring straight at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president, I whispered to Monica. She nods in return, to be honest. I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. See, it, it's kind of pushing me towards Yuri, but I think there might be nuances to this one that I would enjoy more. I wasn't able to say anything either. Uh, well. I guess it just means Sayori is in her own way. It's amazing in her own way. You could say that. She might be an airhead, but it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Such a genuine person does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? That was a lot of fun. It was worth it. It was alright, mostly. Same thing tomorrow? I nod to myself with newfound determination.
Sorry, I just kind of checked out and quit reading the dialogue. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't hate them, do you? No. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone else is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you. I don't know about the pint-sized one. She doesn't like me. Every day. Why? Why do you have to be like this character? We'll just see what the future holds. I say that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use her as an internal monologue. Let's do this. Alright, going with a save ski here, and I guess we'll pick up on poem number two. Hold on, a lot of these are the same words as before. Alright, anyway. Thank you all for joining me. This has been interesting, to say the least. I've... This game claims that it's not for those who are easily disturbed. So I can't wait until that actually becomes something. Whenever that may be. But until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So... Until next time, follow me to Apex. See you guys later.